Hey everyone, it's Daniel, Brother Barbaris. Today we're going to get into the Windows subsystem for Linux. I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux in Windows as an application. We're going to be using WSL2. Now, in order to run this on a Windows 10 or Windows 11 machine, you must be at least at Windows version 1903. So you're going to right-click Start, click Run, and type WinVer. You're going to see that we're running 23H2 or OS build 22631. You must be at OS build 18362 at least on 1903. You can see here manual installation steps for older versions and when you go down to the builds lower than 18362 do not support WSL2. Okay. Now if you'd like to install the Windows terminal on your machine instead of just PowerShell uh, you can do that here. I've left the link on line 10. You can install that, and that'll allow you to have a drop down for each version of Linux or Windows that you're running, uh, whether it be the command prompt, PowerShell, etc. Okay. Kali Linux is used for digital forensics, penetration testing, ethical hacking, reverse engineering, and network security assessments. Uh, if you like I said if you're using this on a physical machine and not in our lab environment you can skip to line 90 now I've done all the steps down to line 90 on my machines here so we're just gonna skip down to line 90 and show you how to install this now once you verify that your version of Windows is up to date we're gonna start here we're gonna right click start we're gonna go to terminal admin or PowerShell admin whatever's there Okay, I'm going to close this. I'm going to take optional features, one word. Okay, it's going to bring up our turn on Windows features. Okay, we're going to go down here to virtual machine platform and Windows subsystem for Linux. We're going to click on those. Click OK. Give that a few moments. And restart now. Okay. Now we're down here. Now, if you're running this in a VM, I like to make sure that my VMware tools start up pretty quickly so that I can do my cut and paste. I place this here just in case you need to do that. So I'll come back when uh, I'm ready to start on line 112 and we'll do that there. Okay, and we're back. We're gonna start on line 112. We're going to open Edge or whichever browser you'd like, and we're going to go to this website from Microsoft to download the WSL2 Linux kernel update for x64 machines. Make sure you download that and then just click Open File. Next, give that a moment, click Yes, and Finish. Now we can close Edge. We're going to right click start, click on terminal or PowerShell admin. Yes. I'm going to copy this WSL set default version 2. There we go. Operation completed successfully. We're going to update WSL. Click yes. Give that a moment and I'll come back when that's done. Okay, we're going to wait for Windows Subsystem for Linux has been installed. That's good. Now we're going to look at our list of online versions. Give that a moment. And there we go. So you can see Ubuntu, Debian, Kali Linux, Ubuntu uh, 18.4, down to 22.04, Oracle Linux, OpenSUSE, all the way down. So we're going to install Kali Linux. So what we do is we say, WSL dash dash install Kali Linux, just like that. And there it goes. And we're going to verify that installing Kali Linux rolling is going. Shouldn't take too long, so I'll just wait. When it comes back up and it asks you for a username, I'm using my first initial and my last name. You can do the same or just come up with whatever username and password you'd like. 
Now when you type the password, it's not going to show up on screen or as asterisk. So you just have to make sure you're typing that correctly. Okay? And I'll come back as soon as that asks me about my password. There it goes. There we go. And let's type this in. And one more time. And installation successful. Okay. Now you can see it says run touch hush login to hide this message, which is the this minimal installation. I'm actually going to do that now. There we go. And that's good to go. Now we're going to do our update to our app applications that are installed on that distribution. We're going to type our password. There we go. Give that a moment. Okay, we're going to put our ACP ID, ACPI support on hold. And the reason why is this actually affects our sound in um, Kali, but it also affects some of the GNOME um, applications from being installed or GNOME. So we're going to put that on hold, just verify there. Now we're going to upgrade, upgrade all of our applications. All right. And I'll come back when that's done. Okay, and there we are. Now what I'd like to do is I like to install NeoFetch, which shows a nice uh, ASCII art of our distribution. So I'll give that a moment to install, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that that's done, we can just type NeoFetch. And you can see a nice ASCII art of our Kali Linux dragon there. And we're good to go. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to install Kali, Linux, Kali Win Kex. So this is our, going to be our GUI, which is the default GUI for Kali Linux. And you're going to give that a good while to install. And we'll be back when that is done. Yeah, this is one of those installs that you might want to go get a cup of coffee or... Run around the block a few times and then come back. So uh, we'll be back as soon as it's done. Okay, and we're back. And now all we have to do to start our Kali Linux uh, GUI is type kex, put it in our password, verify. Oh, try that one more time. That's all right. And we're going to type no for would you like to enter a view only password? No. And away we go. Give this a second. You'll see that it's coming up with the display here. Now, this will take a little bit longer the first time you open it. But the next time we open it, it should be faster. And there we are. Okay. We got our full Kali Linux all set up. Now, what you can do is you can either open up the terminal emulator here, or you can right-click the desktop and open here as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you we can install applications here. So we'll install Wireshark. There we go. Type in our password. And there we go. I'm going to press no for that one. It's fairly quick. Now, if you're looking for a certain application, you can do a search, okay, just like this, and copy. And what you can do is you can type the name of the application. So we're going to do this here in a moment, but I'm going to type exit here, all right. And I'm going to open up Firefox, all right. And I'm going to verify that our sound is working. So I'm going to copy this here, paste. It'll go to my YouTube channel, and I'll just press start on there. Hey everyone, it's Daniel Brother and Bear there Bears. There we go. This is going okay. to be a lab. Let's close that, and now at the log out, just go here to the right side, log out, just like that. Now, at the command prompt here, we're going to go sudo 
apt install blender. Now, if those of you who've used 3D rendering programs, you've used Blender before, I'm sure. I'll come back as soon as that's done installing. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, there we go. Now, this is to show you that we can actually use the applications in Windows from Kali. So if we click Start, I type Blender, and there it shows up. I can right-click on this, click Pin to Start, and then open that up. Now, like I said, the first time you open up an application might take a moment, but the next time you open it up, it'll be cached and it'll be much faster. Go give that a second. And here we go. And there's Blender. Okay. So I can close that. I can get other applications. So app install slash y calculator. All right, that one will t be pretty quick. And I can just type calculator, and there it is. And I can go, you can see it says here, configuration file, couldn't open, and that's because it's the first time. But we can say, hey, let's put this in scientific mode, and we have nice calculator, right? Things like that, okay? Uh, we can type exit here. All right, and exit one more time. We can right click our start menu, click on terminal, yes. And on our down arrow here, you can see Kali Linux. And if you click that, there we go. And I just type kex and it'll come fairly quickly. Once it's, uh, there it is, okay. So I can log back out. I can type mate calc, which is one of the calculators inside of our uh, Kali Linux installation. And there it is. You can see. I can open up the Firefox as an application on my Windows desktop. There it is. Okay, Kali tools. It's all good. Okay. You can use uh, Firefox in the Windows environment from within Kali Linux. Okay, close that. Let's open up Parole, which is a media player from within there. You can see that's good to go. All right, and then what we can do is type exit, WSL dash dash shutdown. When we're done using it, give that a moment and type exit. And there we go. So, once you want to reopen it, you can just open up your terminal as admin. Click here, Kali Linux, or whatever distribution you have. Give that a moment to load up. Or if you're in the PowerShell, you can just type WSL. And that'll come up as well because Kali is set as our default. Okay, you can close this and just type Kex again and you'll be good or exit to get out of there. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next video.